Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. The real estate market in Vancouver, British Columbia is ridiculous. Regular looking 50 to 60 year old homes in the right neighborhood go for a million dollars plus. So it was no surprise that Vancouver was the first city in Canada to embrace an innovative new way to build smaller, more affordable homes. It's called laneway housing. Well, we're living here in the world's second least affordable city. You know, there's no vacant land and property values are really high. So already throughout the city of Vancouver, there are basement suites that are all over the place. And so the laneway house was the next kind of logical step in terms of how do you bring additional homes into a city that's in a way already, you know, full at one level, but this sort of allows sort of hidden density to come into these existing walkable neighborhoods. That's Bryn Davidson, co-owner of Lane Fab Homes. A laneway house is a 500 to 1,000 square foot home built on a single family lot facing the lane or alley. They are used for rentals or family occupancy, and they can't be sold separately from the house. Vancouver has more than a thousand laneway homes, and Davidson says there are three types of people building them. Well, it, there's sort of a couple of different reasons. Maybe say a third of them want to do it just for rental, just to get some extra income off the property. Um, a third of them are sort of extended family, either the children or parents of the property owners who want to cohabitate. And then the final ones is we have some actual owners in the main house who want to downsize. They can downsize into the laneway house and then rent out their main full-size house. And not only do laneway homes provide a more affordable housing option, it also helps create a denser, more energy efficient city in a neighborhood friendly way. So it's, it's been shown for a long time that people living in dense, walkable neighborhoods actually use a lot less energy for getting around, so a lot less carbon emissions. Um, but it also means that you can support local businesses, you can afford to provide transit, you can have all those, all those kind of public amenities like parks and all sorts of other things that come with having a lot of people concentrated in one place. It also makes for a really vibrant neighborhood. And so I think uh, once people get used to this idea of living in a dense, vibrant, walkable neighborhood, it actually becomes kind of addictive. And it's not just dense, walkable neighborhoods that are more energy efficient. Lane Fab builds super energy efficient homes. We toured the home of Peto Chan to get an idea of what laneway homes are like. Well, this one has a lot of the same features as, as our other houses. It has super insulated walls and triple glazed windows, uh, drain heat recovery, LED lighting. But this one also has a 14 panel solar photovoltaic system and it has a high efficiency heat pump which is providing in-floor heating and helping with the hot water. Laneway homes share the yard. The lane house is built in the backyard of the existing house. So we have the existing house over here and then we replaced what was a garage with the new lane house and then this kind of shared patio space between the two homes. This is Petto, one of the owners. Hey. Hi there. How's it going? Good. So this, this place in particular really was about having this really nice kitchen with this connection to this outdoor space. And so everything else was sort of built around that idea. So this is just the little uh, bedroom that we built in. Again, part of the was uh, originally part of a garage. Um, but has been divided now into two rooms. This is their daughter's room. So this is really where the design of the house started, was trying to create a big kind of open living space that also had a little bit of definition in terms of a living area with the TV, and then you know the big kind of uh, family eating on the island, and a connection out through these large folding doors which are really a, a big feature of the house. So in the summer, this whole wall can open up to have a complete indoor-outdoor connection to the patio. Upstairs in this home is the master bedroom with a balcony overlooking the alley and a bathroom with a seamless walk-in shower and hidden hot water heater and washer and dryer. A lot of effort goes into making these smaller spaces just as livable as a typical home. Yeah, I think if, you, if... In, in small space design, one of the key things to do is to get rid of all those redundant spaces or circulation areas, so the hallways. 
Like if we, if at all possible, we try to get rid of as much, get rid of all the hallways. We also try to make it such that every space kind of is doing multiple functions, um, so that you're not creating something that's just kind of limited. We also talked to Pedo Chan, the owner of the home we were visiting. He built his laneway home on his parents' property for a fraction of the price of an average Vancouver home. And while initially he was worried about the neighbor's complaints, he now has a different worry. A lot of interest. Um, we didn't get any complaints at all. We had a lot of people come by and wanting to actually go, come in and have a look. So we've done a lot of uh, ad hoc tours of the place. It's almost on a weekly basis. To the point where uh, the, the only one complaint is that the wife needs to keep the place clean all the time because we get so many visitors. As Laneway Home pilot projects crop up across Canada, they will be looking to Vancouver to learn about this innovative form of affordable housing. Check out our blog for more information on these community solar energy projects and more. We've got photos, podcasts and links to great resources at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.